Hey guys, just a quick one. Just got a few treats out here. A um, few things turned up recently, so I just wanted to show you all. Um, of course, Killer V K4 up there. We've all seen that one before. The yellow fade into the black. Very cool. Dropping down something new or something old or kind of both. 657X. The X is obviously for 10 years. This is to represent 10 years of total BMX, which actually was not even last year, the year before, essentially it's 2020, but because of everything going on in the world, COVID and all the rest of it, Brexit, all this crazy stuff going on, it really kind of held things up. But finally, these are actually turning up in the next two weeks in the UK and will actually have arrived in some other countries already. So essentially, it's exactly the same as the original 657, but we have made some internal changes which will you know, improve the uh, strength of the frame and the way it rides and the balance of it. And also we did shorten the back end a tad just to bring it in line with kind of more modern kind of riding and the way people are thinking now, with these super short back ends. I mean, that thing's gonna absolutely rip at the park because the original 657 was an amazing frame to ride on park. I mean, and this one is the same, but with a slightly shorter back end and stronger as well. Dropping down, something we've been uh, toying with. We're always toying with samples, new colors. So this is a gray fade into white. Essentially, currently you can get the hangover in all white or in this gray. So we just kind of combine the two. So, uh, I mean, this frame is gonna be available approximately September. So at the minute, it's just, just kind of test color. Of course, the H4's got the DBS brake system built in there into the seat tube but you can run it brakeless, or you can just put a dual cable runner attached to the boss there and just run a normal straddle cable if you want to. Totally up to you. Um, so there's three different ways of running a brake on that frame. Brakeless, using the DBS, or a, you know, a twin cable hanger, up to you. Dropping down another one of the 657X frames, but this is a purple one, I know it looks it's kind of pink, but that's because the way the sun's hitting it right now. But it is actually more purple than pink, believe me. Oh, there's a couple of old frames there I thought I'd show you as well. So the grey one is a V2 Voltron, which I had custom painted in pretty much a battleship grey. That was done by Ruckers. Done it ages ago and I've yet to actually build it up. I'm going to build it up soon as a bit of a project. And actually, the blue frame here is a V1 Voltron. Or I say that, it's not technically even a V1, because it's actually an early prototype. This came in the first ever batch of Total BMX prototype frames when we were literally starting out. And of course, we ordered a bunch of samples to, and prototypes to kind of refine the frames and get them how we wanted. And this is this is coming that original batch. So this frame's got a lot of significant importance to me, especially. Um, it's a fully heat treated frame, and um, yeah, it survived the test of time. It was used by a rider. You can see it's absolutely beaten to death, scratched to death, and uh, yeah, it survived. So that's when we knew we were onto a good thing. It was a good, strong design. But also because these frames were fully heat treated. So light. This frame is so, I can't even tell you. Super light. I mean, no one's really making fully heat treated frames anymore. I mean, it is a really expensive process. And um, you can't see, I don't think, on that bottom bracket, there's not even a serial number. It just says Voltron 20.6. So we know that's a 12, well, it says 206, but that means it's a 20.6 top tube Voltron. But there's no serial number because it is a prototype. So if you ever come across a frame, a total frame, and you can see the name of the frame, but there's no serial number, somehow you've managed to find yourself a prototype, which should never have kind of been into public use. The only way that would happen is if a team rider sold it, <laughs> sketchily sold it, which they shouldn't do, you know what I mean? But uh, anyhow, any questions about any of this new stuff? Hit me up in the comments. And just a bit of news. There's a whole bunch of new stock coming real soon. Like, like I said, two weeks in the UK, full new drops. So if you've been waiting for a specific color frame, 
you've been waiting for a specific top tube length and it's not available because I know a lot of them aren't. Um, you know, all parts. I know things like the um, the up left gyro plates and all that stuff that sells really quick. Um, they've been waiting for a restock for ages. I mean, it's been so slow because craziness going on out there with COVID um, and other stuff. Shipping and production has been completely held back, but things are starting to look good. And there's fresh product coming in, which is exciting. Um, and if you've got any uh, opinions on any of the colors, anything you'd like to see done different, you know, we listen to you guys, you're our customers. So um, you're really, really important and your opinion matters. So let us know. But thanks for checking out the video and look forward to seeing you shredding on a table. Peace out.